What if Goku and Vegeta were born as Gogeta and Vegito? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 7? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everyone, it's me, Goku. Welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where Goku G23 does his by daily what ifs on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball Super. Previously on What If Goku and Vegeta Were Born as Vegito and Gogeta, we mentioned that Gogeta and Vegito found himself in a pickle as they saw that Frieza has now transformed into his black form. Frieza then revealed that he was spying on Vegito the whole time and he heard about how Vegito wanted to kill him and overpower him and with that it took him to go and train for 10 years so he could make sure he's always stronger than both of them. With that, Vegito and Gogeta went and they powered the key to full as they charged right towards Frieza and they began to attack him. Gogeta has done everything he can to beat Frieza but he wasn't even close to Frieza's strength. Vegeta was doing everything he can to beat Frieza but also they didn't stand a chance against him. As Frieza Black showed why he is very fierce and strong and with that he began to beat the shit out of both of them. Supreme Kai upon sensing Frieza Black's power have revealed that Frieza is even strong enough to beat Beerus if they were to fight. As Frieza went and he decided to power up and attack to destroy the entire galaxy. Supreme Kai then offered his ring to Vegito and Gogeta as they decided to go and take it and from there they have fused using the Patora earring and they have become Gogito. Upon using their fusion, Gogito went and beat the shit out of Frieza as Frieza didn't stood a chance against him and with that he killed him with a final Kamehameha wave which was strong enough to kill Frieza Black once and for all. With that, Supreme Kai was beyond impressed as he took him right back to the world training him to learn the Kai Kai technique. What if Goku and Vegeta were born as Vegito and Gogeta? Part 7 Gogeta and Vegito has now arrived to Supreme Kai's world. As Supreme Kai's first task was to go and give them the Z Sword, he wanted to see if they were strong enough to break it. With that, both Gogeta and Vegito began to laugh since they never wield such a very powerful and strong sword, and they both took turns and, you know, after a couple of shots or so, after wielding it, Vegeta was the one who managed to actually pull it out, but Gogeta was the one who was able to wield it, and with that, Supreme Kai wanted to test this how powerful it is, so he threw them a rock, and just like in the cannon, the sword broke, but then it unleashed the old Kai. Once when the old Kai came out, he was very thankful for them to for unleashing him, and with that, he suggested for them to do a little bit more training, and that he is going to unleash their potential once when they finish their training. With that, they continued training with Supreme Kai since they wanted to learn the Kai Kai technique. And as you know it, one year has passed since they're both at Supreme Kai's world and they managed to finally learn the Kai Kai technique. Upon learning that, they were very amazed that they were finally able to master it, while Supreme Kai was beyond impressed and Old Kai was also impressed that they were able to unleash and use the Kai Kai technique which is only a Kai technique. With that, Olkai then suggested Vegito to go to a planet called Planet Yadrit as he could learn to control his spirit there and from there, Supreme Kai suggested for Gogeta to go and visit King Kai as he could train him and teach him a new move. With that, both Vegito and Gogeta went to where is their destination as Gogeta met with King Kai and he felt that he was really weird after all King Kai is a pretty much a fat short Kai but he decided to train with him and he learned the Spear Bomb and the Kaioken while Vegito went to Planet Yadrin, met with the Yadrin, and he learned a technique called the Four Spirit Fission. And as you know it, while they're busy doing that, on Earth, King Cole wanted to get his revenge for what Gogeta and Vegito did, and his idea was to go and blow up planet Earth. With that, he has now arrived, as Gogeta and Vegito both were able to sense King Cole's energy from planet Earth, and they were impressed that they were able to pick up power level that far, and they both kai kai there. Once when they got there, they saw that King Cold was there powering up a blast and he aimed it towards the ground. Before it could hit it, Vegito came right from the blast and he dispersed it with one hand and he used his spirit sword and he cut down King Cold while Gogeta went and he killed him with the Kamehameha wave as they managed to easily kill King Cold without breaking a sweat. 
From there, Gogeta and Vegito decided to go to Boma's place, as Boma was very happy to see Vegito again, and from there, she confessed her love to Vegito, since this was her second time seeing him. The first time was on planet Earth before they left Namek, and now she saw him again. As Vegito didn't know what to say, but he accepted Boma's love, and they both decided to get married. As they got married one another, while Gogito and Vegito continued to go and train and do everything they can to get stronger. Piccolo wanted to join them in their destination and he began training with them as this power level has grown a lot and as you know it, few years has passed since Gogeta and Vegito were training on planet Earth but little did they knew something was happening in South City. On South City, three androids were there as they began destroying everything. Because this is Gogeta and Vegito what if and that there is no trunks and stuff, no one came to warn them about the android and after all, it's Vegito and Gogeta, you think they need any warning? As they were busy relaxing, but when they sensed people dying, they quickly went in Kaikai Kai towards that area along with Piccolo. As they confronted three android, and from there, Jiro looked towards him and said, Ah, if it isn't Gogeta. Wait, you know this old guy? What the? Who are you? I am the great Dr. Jiro. So what are you doing here? And why are you killing innocent life? <laughs> I'm here to kill you, Gogeta. You have destroyed a Red Ribbon army and because of that, we have a grudge to settle. It is time you die. Before he could say another word, Piccolo went and he took Jiro by his neck and he threw him right towards the ground as he aimed a blast right towards Jiro and Jiro's entire body got exploded. From there, he saw that two androids went and they rushed right towards Piccolo as it was androids 17 and 18 and both of them strike Piccolo right in his stomach. Vegito went and he charged at 18 as the uppercutter while Gogito went and he charged towards 17 and their battle has begun. Both of the androids were far stronger than anyone has ever seen before since Dr. Jiro was watching Gogeta his entire life and he also saw the battle of Gogeta and Vegito. He was able to pick up a lot of DNA and stuff just to try to modify his android but it wasn't something that Gogeta and Vegito couldn't handle as both Vegito and Gogeta went and they screamed. Ah! Gogeta and Vegito has transformed into their Super Saiyan as the match turned the table on Andre 17 and 18 and they began to beat the shit out of him and before they can deliver the finishing blow, they got hit with a solar flare as everyone's blind and they couldn't see and with that they saw that the two androids power has disappeared and a new power has arrived as he managed to get even stronger than before and with that it was no one other than Cell. <laughs> Finally, I have achieved ultimate perfection. Huh? What the? Who is this guy? <laughs> I don't know, but how about we both kick his ass? What do you say, Gogeta? I'm game, let's do it. <laughs> I would love to see you guys try. Gogeta, it's a pleasure finally meeting you. I was made for the sole purpose of killing you, but also becoming the strongest to ever exist. Is that so? Alright, good Vegito, stay back. I want to handle this myself. As Gogeta and Cell stare at towards one another, and with that, their battle has begun. Gogeta went and he charged right towards Cell, while Cell did the same, and both are power clash at one another, and they were going at it back and forth. <laughs> With each landing blow, the entire earth was shaking, but Gogeta was impressed that Cell was able to hold his own against a Super Saiyan Gogeta nevertheless and said, You're not bad. Tell me, how are you able to keep up with my power? And why the hell am I keep sensing Vegeta within you? Ha! <laughs> that is because I am the ultimate android. I have all you guys' DNA within me. What? DNA? Okay, I had enough of this guy. Gogeta, it's my turn! As Vegito came in from there he went and kicked Cell right across his face 
getting Sal to be sent flying meters away. But Sal did a backflip as he charged right towards Vegito and he began to attack him back. This isn't the same Cell which was in the cannon that Super Saiyan 2 team Gohan fought. This Cell is far stronger since he has Vegito and Gogeta's DNA within him, thus makes his Cell a lot stronger. Cell was able to hold its own against a Super Saiyan, Vegito and Gogeta nevertheless, as both of them were attacking Cell non-stop, and with that Cell went and he uppercut Vegito, he gained to be sent flying high in the air and with that he came right behind him and powered up a Gallic gun and aimed it right towards Vegito. Vegito tried to hold it up but it was too much as he got hit head on. Gogeta saw that as he rushed right towards Cell and he kicked him. But from there Cell brushed it off as he struck Gogeta right in his stomach and from there he began to attack Gogeta. Vegito then got up as both Gogeta and Vegito decided to power up the key and they decided to go all out towards Cell and with that they decided to attack in non-stop. Cell was really impressed that they were able to hold his own and said, You guys are not bad. It's no wonder Dr. Jerome made sure I killed you guys first. If I want to rule the entire multiverse, I need to get rid of you guys first. <sighs> What's with these villains always trying to rule the multiverse? <laughs> you guys get old and lame. Yeah, he's completely right. If you want to do any of that crap, come through me first. I'll make sure I end you right here. After all, you got a lot stronger by absorbing those androids, huh? Hey, what are you trying to get at, Vegito? As Sal went and he rushed right towards Vegito, and he tried to hit him but Gogeta went and he kicked him but Cell brushed it off and with that he powered up in the blast and aimed it towards Vegito and Gogeta. Both of them got hit by the blast as they both did a backflip and they managed to survive it and from there they said, Okay I guess it's time we use more power what do you say? Yeah how about I use a technique which I learned from King Kai. What? Behold. Gogeta has now gone and used the Kaioken, mixing with his Super Saiyan. Although in the canon this is completely false, you cannot mix Kaioken with Super Saiyan, it will instantly kill you because Super Saiyan doesn't have pure energy, but hey, it's a what if, and it's Gogeta using it so why not, as we decide to give Gogeta Kaioken Super Saiyan, giving him have a huge boost to his power, and with that he went and rushed right towards Cell, and he kneed him right in his stomach. Cell didn't see that coming as he got hit head hard and from there Gogeta went and kicked him as he began to go and beat the shit out of Cell. Vegeta was really impressed but Cell got really angry and said, You guys wanna play like that? Then bring it on! Cell has used his full power as his energy has increased a lot and said, Now you both are going to know what it means to die! Cell went and chased right towards Gogeta as he tried to hit him but he was a bit slow. Vegito saw that this was his opportunity and to shine as he went and he powered up his fist and he came right in front of Cell and he decked him right in his stomach using the Force Spirit Fission. With that Cell began to throw up as he couldn't handle what was happening with him and from there he managed to release Android 18 from his body getting him to revert right back to his semi perfect. From there Vegito went and used it again as Cell has reverted right back to his base and from there Gogeta went and powered up a final Kamehameha and he aimed it right towards Cell as it hit Cell head on and he died right there. With Gogeta's Kaioken Super Saiyan trying to hold his own against Cell and with Vegito's four spirit fission, they managed to destroy the androids without even breaking a sweat as Android 17 and 18 had no idea what to do next but they decided to join the Z Warriors since they saw just how powerful Gogeta and Vegito are. With that Gogeta and Vegito then made a vow to get a lot stronger as they decided to do extra training but with their training they did with Supreme Kai they made a promise to Supreme Kai that when the time comes they're gonna have to go and kill Majin Buu. To find out what happens you got to click the bell my Z fans as we have Vegito and Gogeta now going on a training spree to get even stronger. What new forms will they finally achieve? For that, you're gonna have to click the bell. If you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it. And please subscribe to my boy Vegeta T23, help him get up to 10,000 subscribers. Please, everyone, subscribe to Goku T23. Trust me, you won't regret it. And if you haven't already, please click the bell. That way, you will be notified when the next video comes out. Trust me, click the bell. It's worth your time. And if you feel like this channel isn't for you in the future, 
you can always unsubscribe.